أعوذ بالله سمينا لمن الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I seek refuge in Allah against the accursed shaitan. I begin in the mighty name of Allah, the ever gracious, the ever merciful. Our praise is due to Allah, we thank Him. And we seek His choices, blessings upon our teacher Muhammad. May Allah continue to bless Him, bless members of His worthy household, His courageous companions, and bless all those who will continue to follow their footsteps till the day of accounting. Thereafter, I extend the best courtesy by saying your last peace and blessings abide with us. Good morning and welcome to this segment of Saur Life. My name is Taufika Blazis. This morning we want to talk about a very important matter and it's a little technical. It's about the, relig the role of the religious leaders in societal reformation, in the reconstruction of the society. Ordinarily, what Allah does is to send message to mankind through messengers. Like he said to Adam والسلام, when he was being sent to this world, when Allah expelled him and Shaitan, Allah told him uh, that uh, I will send message to you in ayah 38 of Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah says, Kulna ibitu min jamia. We said, all of you, advance and enter into the world out of paradise, all of you together. Fama yatindyad nakum minni uda. Anytime there comes to you from me, guidance, faman tabi awdaya, whoever follows my guidance, fala khawfun alayhim wala hum Yahsanun, that person that shall not fear and shall not grieve. There shall be no fear nor grief over him. When Shaitan wanted to make Adam sleep, the first thing he did was to increase his knowledge. And it was this satanic knowledge that made Adam to make that mistake that accounted for his expulsion from paradise. Allah says, Wala to Israel. Do not move near this tree, just tree. But when uh, Shaitan wanted to get to Adam, he, he introduced um, two elements that Adam did not know before. So can I show you Shajaratul Khult wa mulk la yabla can I show you the tree of eternity? Introduce khulud, eternity, wa mulk, la yabla, an authority that does not perish. That was how Adam got seduced by new knowledge, different from the knowledge Allah has given him. In other words, anything outside the guidance of Allah is error, is satanic. Unfortunately, when Allah began to send messengers with this guidance, he ended it with Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And um, when the Jews attacked him psychologically, intellectually, and physically, Allah asked them a question: "Atamuruna nasa bilbir, watansauna anfusakum." Will you command people to do good? When you do not do it yourself, you forget to do good yourself. And you are the ones that recite the book. Are you not intelligent? Don't you have sense? This verse, this ayah, establishes three very serious but fundamental paradigms. Number one, the ulama, the teachers, the scholars, the religious leaders are the ones that inherited the messengers. The messengers were the teachers and leaders of mankind. 
to be able to succeed in the divine mission of transforming this world from a hell, a jungle, into a paradise, a beautiful, bountiful, and peaceful place. The world is to be transformed through religion into a beautiful, bountiful, bountiful and blissful place. Three Bs, beautiful, bountiful, blissful. It must be happy. It must be peaceful. It must be beautiful. It must be plenty. It must be bountiful. But when the messengers left, the responsibility to teach, to guide, to reconstruct were placed on the scholars. But before Muhammad وسلم, the scholars reneged. They were able to read. They were able to preach. But they were not doing. So the people became their followers in evil. The Prophet Islam said, Allah began to be angry with the Jews because their scholars stopped telling them the truth. Telling them how to live. When they began to commit sin, they began to look away from their sins. The third one, Allah joined the heart of the sinners with the saints. So this, the saints, the teachers, the scholars, the malams, the, the scribes, the anchorites, they became the same in evil with their followers. And this is what Allah is establishing in this ayah. And you have the capacity to read the book. You are literate enough. You are articulate. You can teach. You can preach. You have the knowledge. But the third one is, there is a difference between tilawatul kitab and aklu. Aklu, intelligence, being sensible, being wise, means being good. So there is no sense in abundance of knowledge that does not carry righteousness. That is why Allah did not say only the knowledgeable bear witness after the angels that Allah is one. Allah says those who bear witness among mankind are the, are the knowledgeable one qaima bil kisti that stand on justice on equity. When religious leaders are unjust, when all their interest is money, when they fight in politics, when they fight people to, keep, to give people political authority, political position, it is because of the pecuniary gains they will make from these people. It is not because they believe that as a religious person is going to do well. How many religious person does well? In other words, all the people that are corrupt, all the people that are destroying this nation, how many of them are pagans? Are there pagans among the bandits? The kidnappers, north, south. The bandits with various names, north, south. Are they not Muslims and Christians? The armed robbers. The Yahoo Yahoo, the Yahoo Plus, are they pagans? What is the role of the religious leaders in the reconstruction of the mind and the deeds of these criminals in our society? All the criminals in government, all the criminals in politics, all those who destroy the economy, all those who make life difficult and impossible, all those who ordered fuel, all those who imported uh, bad fuel. All those who are making life difficult for us, are they pagans? What is the role that religious people, religious leaders have played in their life? Do they reject their gifts? Do, what do they preach? What do we preach? Even during this Ramadan, what do scholars preach except to send missiles to one another? Except to abuse people, except to, 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 to mark the script of others. 
when you have judged yourself as the best candidate in this examination? Who told you? Where is your evidence that Allah has accepted your own? So my call is to every religious leader to be afraid of Allah. Because Allah is going to ask you as shuada ala nas. All of us will bear this responsibility. Allah says, that is how he has made you a justly balanced nation. So that the messenger will be a witness over you and you'll be witnesses over mankind. However, the ulama, the scholars, the religious leaders, they are the ones that inherited the prophets. What are you inheriting? Are you inheriting estates? that the Prophet did not leave behind. Are you more interested in your pocket? How much you make? How much influence you make? To bring in how much? Rather than the condition of the earth through the people that pray behind you, through the people that listen to you. How much righteousness can people find in you? The, the worse the people who lead are the worse the people that are led become. May Allah rectify our fears. Akulu kawli haza wa stakfulali wa lakum. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.